Love them, hate them, they're a necessity. Webcams, yes, all the webcams. You need a webcam in your life. I work from home every single day. I'm on a desktop and there is no camera built into my desktop. I always wanna look right up here and a webcam is a necessity. If you have a laptop, it does have a webcam built in, but is it good quality, is it bad quality? What is the quality? And what happens when you dock your laptop when you go in the office or at home like I do all the time? You want that webcam external that you can just plug in and go. And today I'm gonna to be breaking down three different webcams, two that you may have seen from Logitech and brand new one from Anchor. Maybe my new favorite webcam ever, so tune in. Hey everyone, I'm James and I do a bunch of live coding on my channel, but also a few tech reviews. And today I wanna to talk about webcams. Yeah, webcams, I literally just talked about it for the last like minute, talking about webcams, webcams. So many webcams, why do I have so many webcams? I don't know. Well, one's my wife's, one's mine, and one's my travel emergency on the go. Now, am I using a webcam right now, now to record this video? No, I'm using a Canon M50 Mark II that I got off of Craigslist. That's what I'm buying. I have the stock lens here. Now, if you've watched any of my other videos, you may have noticed a blurry background that's all super nice. I'm using the stock one that's built in right here. And I do not use this at work. I, I, do, I only use this for videos and actually taking photos and videos. I do not use this at work at all because it's too much overkill. I don't want my camera on all the time to do this. I only do it for videos. Now, I don't have a blurry background or it's a little blurry, but I normally have another lens. This is a fixed lens uh, in general uh, that I bought. It's like 20, 30 bucks on Amazon for my uh, M50. I'll put links down in the show notes to Amazon. Those are referral codes. I get like 10 cents if you buy something with my referral code that's there. But I use a webcam. Even though I have this beautiful setup that I absolutely love, I still use a webcam just because it's so much simpler. It's faster. I don't have to mess around with stuff. And of course, they're powered by USB cables because who doesn't want just a USB cable? So I have three of them at different price points. My travel on the go, no matter what, is this Logitech C615. It's a 1080p camera that I'm gonna talk about here, and it is about $30. In fact, I bought this one because during the pandemic and currently, it's still kind of hard to get you know webcams. Now you can find them readily available on Amazon, but at the time, I was like, I need a webcam, I'm on the go, and I didn't have another one, so I, I picked up this. 615 for 30 bucks. It might've been like 40 bucks at the time. Now, what the webcam everybody has, or that you probably were just gonna go on Amazon and Google and buy is the C920. Now this is the Logitech C920. This thing comes in at a bunch of different um, price points because there's an X model, an S model, a Pro model, all the models it has this nice little flippy do here. Look at that privacy, privacy. Um, this is the standard stock. People will tell you to buy this. I've recorded most of my early YouTube videos with this camera specifically. I totally did this. And then I actually recorded with a GoPro, which was a little bit better. I don't know if it is it's a little bit better here. Now, um, in this regards, this is the standard. This is what everyone will talk about. It's pretty decent in general, but I was going and I was buying another webcam because, uh, I have another place that we're at all the time. And I left my C920 there. I said, man, should I buy another C920? Uh, like 60, 70 bucks. Then I saw this thing, the Anchor C200 with this little feature, auto close turn off. It's powered by USB-C and it was about $50 on Amazon. And I was like, I'll give it a go. I like Anchor, I have a bunch of Anchor products. So I figured why not? So what I wanna do today is break down a comparison of these threes really quick and also show you a video test and audio test because all these have microphones too. So let's go ahead and get into it. Very first up, let's talk about that C615. All right, the C615 is this one here. And there's a bunch of probably models in this area. And it is a 1080p at, whoa, 30 frames per second. It's a little webcam. It goes and it goes onto your back or wherever you're at. You just, all these webcams are the same. They have little doohickeys that, that go onto the, your you know, monitor, basically. This one has two points of articulation. So one is this one here, it swivels, and another one here, so you can really get fine grain control. It has a USB plugged in. As you imagine, it's USB. It's got, you know, microphone, stuff like that on there. That's cool. And of course, as you can see from it, there it says 1080p. Oh my gosh, HD. Yeah, is it? We'll see. 
Now, my favorite part of this one is something that no other camera does <laughs> that I've seen, at least the ones that I own, is swivel. Look at this. Whoa. That's kind of my favorite feature. It's silly, but let's say you have it and you have it pointed at you, right? And you're like, I want privacy. Yeah, turn it around. <laughs> and then now it's looking at a wall or something like that. It's also really cool if you're doing like IoT or some other thing where you need to point it down or do something a little crazy. It's actually kind of cool that you can swivel it uh, automatically. So that's really neat uh, in general. So that that's it. This one is $30 on Amazon. And this is the budget line that you would want. And of course, the, you know, step up there would be the 920. I think, I don't know if this is the X or the S or the Pro. Basically the difference is 30 frames per second versus 60 frames per second in different modes, um, di different microphone arrays, things like that. But they're all around the 60 to 70, $80 price range. The difference here is while it is USB compatible, as you would imagine, this one has a very long cord. This one, extremely short cord. That, that's a big bummer as well. It's like one foot, two foot, something like that. It's real short. So it has a nice long cable. This one has a lot of points of articulation. I really like this. It's really, you know, really tilty here. Another one here, which you would expect, but then also this little foot. I love this little foot. It really like really secures it down there. It's got this nice rubber on it. I really like it. And of course, it is a lot bigger if you go side by side here, obviously, than the 615. But overall, you know, we're looking at something that is a pretty decently big size. And it's got the microphone array, all the stuff on there. I think it even has speakers on it. It's got a bunch of stuff basically. And as you can see right here. Let's get that in 1080p. Oh my gosh. Now this does, most of them now come with this little privacy flap. That's real important. You used to buy this separately, but now it comes with it. You can still buy it separate. It's like five, 10 bucks. But again, you just kind of, and this actually comes off. If you don't want the privacy, you can just do this, but this does not rotate. Okay. You're not getting any flexibility. So that's kind of a bummer. Now that is kind of one benefit here is you can actually angle this just a little bit off. If you need to put it on the side of your monitor, for example, you can be like, oh, just a little bit over here. That is a cool feature. All right, let's get into the Anchor C200. Now this little puppy was a surprise because um, um, it's really nice. It's really cool. I saw it on, on Amazon. It was sponsored. So by on the sponsored link on Amazon, none of these companies have sponsored me to do this video. I just own and purchase all of these little webcams with my own money. And I'll have affiliate links down there so you can buy them, check them out. Again, I get like a quarter if you buy that on there. But I thought this was cool because it was about the same price or a little bit less actually. It was 50 bucks with a coupon that was just on Amazon. Um, and if you look at it, it says it is a 2K HD image with a 95 degree adjustable field of view, FOV. And it's got microphones, it's got speakers, it's got all that stuff in it. And my favorite feature is that it's actually a uh, USB-C. And I love that because I could just take this with me, fold it up and I'm on the go. Now, of course, this is going to be a little bit different perspective, right? It is quite bigger than, than, than this here, but it's also a little bit not as tall. So it's kind of up to you there. Um, but I like it that it's not, uh, that's my favorite part is actually that it's not super wide. I like that I can just put it there. It's not blocking a bunch of stuff up on top of my monitor. And I like it. One of my favorite features that I talked about earlier is that you can do this. This actually turns off the camera completely, but it also obviously is a privacy filter, which is nice, but that actually turns it off in general. And then what we have is um, two points of articulation down here, up and down, and then up and down. You should be able to mostly find it with two. I wish it had that little foot thingy that came up. That would have been pretty cool in general. But that is the Anchor C200. It's, it's model is a work camera. And I guess I'm working with that camera. It's my, it's my new camera. I also, one thing that's nice is that I, I pointed out, you might not be able to see it in the, in the video when I do it, but there's a little tiny light right there. And that is on when the camera is on. So that is actually really, really cool. It's a, another nice feature is that you see that it's on when it's on. That's a nice little perk there. So shout out to anchor for thinking about the privacy features built directly into it. And that cool on off switch in general. Last thing I'll talk about is that all of them have mounts. So you can see here that there's a mount on the bottom. There is a mount on the bottom and even on the 615 underneath this little flap over here. If I peel that off, ugh, there is a little mount. So if you want to put that on a tripod or something like that, 
behind your desk. You can totally do that. Or of course you can use these things there. All right, enough talking. Let's get into actually seeing what and how these perform and how they stack up against my Canon M50. All right, here we are. All four of me. Uh, that's right. I got four different USB ports, all with these different cameras. Now, what are you seeing? Now, I don't even want to tell you which is which yet. I'm not even going to put an overlay on it. Can you guess what is the C615? These are all with the default settings automatically. What is the C615? What is the C920 from Logitech? And what is the C200 from Anchor? And more specifically, what maybe is my Canon M50 Mark II? Can you guess? All right, pause this video. Let's get into it. All right, 615. I'm going to point at you, 615. This one, top left, that is the C615. <laughs> it's actually pretty good. You know, this is all with the default 1920 by 1080, different points of field of view. You can modify those in the settings as well. I'm going to open up the Anchor app because uh, I think it's actually pretty cool. Lots of uh, things that you can do there. Um, but what we're seeing here is that this right here, um, I think that the colors, you know, this is a white wall behind me or a little bit... Uh, off a little bit, a little bit. My skin's a little bit interesting there. Now, this is fascinating. This right here is the uh, 920, the one that I'm pointing at. So this is the 920. Uh, I'm a little bit lighter in the face, which is fascinating. I do have two Elgato um, lights right here. So this is just what's coming in off my face there. So I don't know if it's just because of that. If I get a little bit closer, you know, I'm getting a lot more uh, oranges in the 615 and then a little bit more uh, less definition here. Now, here's what's interesting. On the bottom, what we're seeing right here, this one, bottom right, is the Anchor C200. Now, I will say with the C200, I think it does do some processing, some smoothing of my face if I get real close in general, right? I think if you see that this is the Canon M50, you're getting a lot more natural stuff there. So you can see this one here has this wide shot. So you can see my box of cables. I need to find USB extenders here, but you're getting this here. Now I am realizing that every camera does have some indication. Uh, the C, you know, you know, uh, two C920 has uh, blue, 618 has a little blue thing, and then this one actually does have blue as well. So they all got little blue strips in general, but uh, <laughs> you can see everything here, okay? So let's get into it a little bit closer. 615, this is gonna be the 615 up close. So again, it's very yellow, lots of yellow coming through and I'm not sure why necessarily why that is the case, um, but you do get you know um, some shadows, some things like that. If I go like this, you're gonna get a little bit of banding inside of here, as you can see in my hand, not too bad uh, in general. So it is a pretty decent camera. If you got good lighting, things like that. Um, we'll also do low lighting as well, so we can take a look at what that looks like. So for the C920, good old Logitech C920 coming in. That's pretty, I mean, that's, that's, that balance is real intense. I think that this is pretty washed out um, in general. You can tell here, this is a pretty dark shirt, but the colors are very bright. I'm not sure why, um, but let's do, we'll do a dark, um, you know, no, just normal lighting test here in a second. Where we go to the C200 from Anchor, what does that look like? Well, this one has extremely accurate, more accurate colors, I think, in general. My, my face is a little bit smoother, so they're definitely doing some processing there on the image. But I think what we see is uh, obviously a wider field of view that you can see here. But I think you see a lot more in general of, of the actual colors that are going on. Of course, you can adjust this field of view too. You can see this um, um, fan that you never see in any of my videos. That's pretty interesting. And, and little Ryan Reynolds down there. Look at that. Finally, let's head over again to my main webcam, which is going to be my M50. Now, I obviously am zoomed in here, things like this. This is with the stock. This is not with the uh, fancy uh, autofocus. You're not getting blur. You get a little bit of blur in there, but you're getting a lot more up close here. So you're actually seeing a camera right there is being blocked, which is really funny, uh, actually. But, you know, you have a lot more control in general because you have a camera that's here, right? Uh, and these colors are extremely accurate because it's a camera, you know, at the end of the day, it's a sensor is just really pulling in all that light and doing that processing and doing autofocus and all that stuff that you're not going to get out of webcam, but this thing was $400 on Craigslist, not $50. Let's go back all cameras side by side. Boom. All right. 
There you go. So we got 15, 615, 920, C200, M50 over here, all the different cameras in general. Now let's do a low light test. I'm going to go ahead and turn off my Elgato key lights in general. Okay. Now I do have a big window behind me, which is quite nice, letting in some light right now. Um, and you know, these lights are mostly optimized for me in general. Um, when I am, um, doing video recordings here in this instance, I think that the two on the bottom down here, most accurate, uh, is going to be obviously the M50 to, to really what's happening. This one here, the C200, I think would be the next closest. And I actually think the 615 is not bad, but I think the colors on my face are just really weird in general. I don't know why that is the case. The orange, the warm colors are really coming through compared to the, the C920, uh, which is much more of a, um, um, bright white colors coming through. So the C, so C200, I think might be the clear winner here for the webcams. Uh, nothing is going to get as close as this. You can see here, my, my, my hair is a lot darker or it's a lot more maybe brownish, um, inside of this one. There you go. All right. Now the question is, are any of the actual webcam microphones any good at all? And the answer is no, so you probably shouldn't use them at all, but we could do a microphone test and actually check that out. So let's head over and start to check out some microphones. Is going to be the C615 audio. I'm gonna turn it down a little bit as well because it does seem to be peaking quite a bit, but that is the C615 audio. Um, yeah, it's definitely audio. All right, now we are over clearly on the C920. Uh, it's up over here, so I can go ahead and go a little bit closer if I'm on it. This is, again, the default out-of-the-box settings that are happening here. And this one is not peaking as much, um, but I can, of course, turn that down. There we go, just a little bit. If I look at my OBS, you're going to go there. But that is going to be the default out-of-the-box C920 audio. C200. Now, this is actually peaking really loud coming off of this. I can actually turn this down quite a bit, so there we go. This is going to be using the stock out of the box. I have no idea what this sounds like right now. C200. This is the Anchor C200 that's coming in. I'll put a little thing down there so you can see it. And that's just the default audio coming off the camera. All right. Now, last but not least, this is, of course, my actual M50. Now, this is not audio coming through the M50. This is coming from my Blue Spark microphone right here where I do all my podcasting and video stuff here. And this is my setup that I normally have, but I am usually mixing that over here with my C200 anchor, which is my new go-to camera at work, at least um, there. Now, the last thing I want to do is I want to show off some of the software that comes uh, with this puppy here. So what I'm going to do is head over to the desktop and actually take a look at the anchor and Logitech software. So let's go ahead and check it out. All right, so the first thing that we want to actually show off here is the Anchor software. This is called Anchor Work, um, and you don't have to log in to do anything, but you can get uh, updates to firmware for your webcam, which is nice. Uh, over here, you can tap on this and you can adjust the resolution. So I was actually shooting in 1080p for all of them for an accurate uh, perspective. You can change that to 2K. I'm not really sure if I see any difference there. Let's make this uh, bigger in general. I'm never streaming at more than 1080p, but we can do this here. You can see I can check for firmware upgrades, see different stuff here. I can uh, yeah, turn, that, turn that back to 1080p. Uh, it looks about the same to me. The other thing you can do is actually you can toggle this between different uh, FOV. So here's 65, here's 95, here's 78. You can get these different uh, resolutions kind of coming in. You can also toggle this and actually zoom in further if you want Whoa! Uh, inside that. So you have full control or you can reset it here as well. And you can adjust that FOV. 78 degrees seems to be what I would do. If you for some reason need 360p, you can totally get that if you want it. But let's go ahead and stick to the 1080p. Now on top of that, there is uh, image of, of adjustments here. So you can flip horizontally or vertically. You can adjust your brightness, your darkness, all that stuff. So that's kind of nice if you want to dial it in. I'm just going to use the defaults because why not? Um, there's other stuff in here. So there is omnidirectional and direct pickup too. So that is something that is nice. Um, we only tested the omnidirectional. You can also do the direct pickup uh, as well. And there's that. 
Now, beyond that, Logitech also has a camera setting app, and there's a bunch of, I mean, there might be different ones that are out there, but at least in general, this is the one that I uh, have installed from their website. And this one here, you can see there's two cameras, you can flip between them, and you can look at the different outputs as well. And there's Home, which is not much, but there's Advanced. I guess Home has widescreen or standard image and the anti-flicker stuff. So this is gonna be your two different modes. Uh, standard is what's default. And then we have the settings here too. So you can go in and you can adjust these. So if I wanted this contrast to be bumped up a little bit, there we go, brightness a little bit down, maybe giving you a little bit more accurate tone. So you can adjust those color accuracies. Right now it has auto white balance. You can do this. Again, you kind of have to know this stuff and I don't know, the default should and should work correctly out of the box is the main purpose that I have. So there you go, that is a quick look at the software for Logitech and Anchor. All right, there you go, what'd you think? All sorts of webcams, different price points. All of them are probably gonna be better than your built-in webcam in general. Um, I'm a big fan of this one, the Anchor C200. This is probably my pick uh, overall. I know I just got it, but I really, really like it. I like the software that comes with it, allow you to adjusting those different FOVs. It's got firmware updates. I don't know. I just feel like Anchor maybe put a little bit more in the longevity of this little puppy here. Now, that being said, the C920 is the staple uh, here. It just really is. Let's just be honest about it. Elgato's come out with one. I got, you know, Streamlights and decks and all this other stuff. And Elgato makes all sorts of good stuff. And Logitech also has like their, you know, other cams. These ones here, I think for the price point, 50, 60 bucks, 30 bucks, if you want, is the go-to. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, if you want to buy any of these webcams, check them out in the show notes below. But of course, if you want more tech reviews, check out tech reviews on my channel. And of course, subscribe so you stay up to date on all the videos I put out here, mostly programming videos, but also some tech reviews as well. Anyways, thanks so much for walking, watching. 